All right, welcome back. 811 Challenge Detroit is now recruiting future leaders in their quest to move forward by addressing complex issues like food security, education, economic development. And here to talk about the program is the executive director, Deirdre Groves. And we also have Brandy Davey. Uh, Brandy, how are you associated with, with Challenge Detroit? I'm actually part of the current class. Okay. I'm a fellow. I work at Crestmark Bank in Troy. So I work there Monday through Thursday and then on Fridays I participate with the fellowship. So we do nonprofit partnerships throughout the year. And so how has that helped you grow as a, a young professional? It's actually really amazing. I've done everything from going to um, events at the DIA to a lesson on Black Bottom and Paradise Valley, just really immersing myself in the Detroit culture and what it means to be a Detroiter. Okay, well, so Deirdre, what is Challenge Detroit? Challenge Detroit is a year-long fellowship program that's focused on attracting and retaining talent okay. and giving that talent a great job in the community Monday to Thursday and then an opportunity to make an impact every Friday with us. What can the fellows, what can they expect as, as, as they grow from the beginning of that year to the end? Yes. Our program is incredibly immersive. It's focused on leadership development. We expect that our fellows are going to grow as leaders in the community through the program. They're also going to be able to learn and make an impact in the community. So they live in and around the city of Detroit. They work for a top company Monday to Thursday. Brandy mentioned Crestmark Bank. We're also partnered with small organizations like Wait Time, nonprofits like Goodwill Industries, and even major Fortune 500 companies like General Motors. So you're expanding as far as a young business professional, but also also someone who's engaged in the community and part of the solution that Detroit is actually looking for. Absolutely. This is really meant for people who want to make a difference, whether it's in their hometown or their interest is piqued and they're curious about Detroit and they want to learn about the community. This is a great opportunity to do that. So as people are at home watching right now and they're thinking, that sounds like something I want to be a part of, how do you get involved? There's really only one main requirement, although maybe I'll say two. The main requirement is that you have to have at least a bachelor's degree to apply. Secondary is be creative, have an entrepreneurial spirit, someone who's passionate about community building, and you just visit our website and we are accepting applications until March 11th at challengedetroit.org. Now you mentioned some of the organizations uh, that, that the fellows will be working with. What are some of the other uh, opportunities that young people will be able to take advantage of? Mm -hmm. So yes, work is critical and important but it's more than that. When we spend time together on Fridays, Brandy mentioned our challenge projects. Those spend about six weeks together working with a nonprofit and really giving intellectually. So consulting in a sense for these organizations. Okay. We've spent time as an example this year on the Motor City Match program. We've also worked with Detroit Homecoming, Slow Roll, and we're currently doing a project with Building Detroit. Now, Brandy, if someone is watching, how would you sell them on taking advantage of this rare opportunity? Oh, um, it's really a blessing if it is granted to you. Um, so you want to put yourself out there. You want to be part of your community. I'm getting the most out of being a Detroiter by investing myself in it. So that means going to the lip bar <laughs> and locking myself <laughs> out of my car or doing these really awesome networking events. And um, also working with nonprofit organizations is really important to me. So I'm so glad that I'm part of the now challenge family. Yeah, it sounds like a phenomenal opportunity. We have the information on your screen. What else is the, uh, or what is your uh, your website address that way people can learn more? Yes, challengedetroit.org. And people can also visit us on social media, ask us questions. You can visit us and contact us through our contact form. And we're happy to help along the way. We want to encourage people to apply. Now is the time when we want more and more Detroiters applying every year. Well, thank you both thank you so, so much, much for coming thank in. You. And I wish you both the best of luck, especially you, Brandy. Thank you.